people underestimate encounters. Uh, we take for granted every time someone crosses our path. We forget that every single individual is a conglomerate of trillions of cells linked together by this mysterious consciousness that throughout the course of its existence made a number of choices to get to this point in space-time where it meets you. There are an infinity of ways this person could not be crossing your path right now. Yet, here they are. Now imagine that every single person you see in your life, it's not just a piece of walking flesh, but a result of a hyper-complex emotional equation, just like you. I think that's what the world is missing now, this sense of mutual identification. Once people realize that we're all uniquely the same, and all hold the same rights to be here on this planet, that's when we'll be truly free as a species. Because in the end, the difference between you and I is just in our minds. And once you realize the complexity in others, in most of your judgment, prejudice, and any sort of hate just vanishes. You can cut through flesh, but you cannot cut a cluster of emotions, moments, and complex feelings, just like yourself. Then suddenly you make way for feelings of tolerance, understanding, compassion, and cooperation. And that's what attracts me to street portraiture. I like to capture people when they're vulnerable, off guard. And, and once I get that shot, it's like our entire existence came together. Compressed in this one image, and an image that represents everything you ever thought about, every action you did or didn't take, every opinion, every breath, every heartbeat, every heartbreak, every disappointment, and failure and achievement, every success, every single slice of your existence led you to this moment. This one sixtieth of a second, they will remain frozen for all eternity. And if my images ever help mankind see itself for what it truly is, then, then I guess that's the day I'll have reached my goal.